What is good? All right, so firstly, on stream, I just wanted to talk about the whole so Sofago and Travis Scott situation in that it looks like he never left the label or he never got dropped. So I just want to let y'all know we've been talking about this for a while. I even saw some people claim that I said like like in the Discord server that like, you know, Trav stole his master. It was like, whoa, 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 buddy. Whoa. It doesn't work like that. Anyway, so uh yeah, so Fago still signed to Travis Scott. Here's basically confirmation. Now, it doesn't say like he's signed, but if you uh just logically, right, why else would they be associating with each other? Why would Travis Scott be giving him this big look at the all-star weekend like cactus jack events uh if if he wasn't signed right so they put him back on the not back they just put him on to the poster remember we discussed this i was like yo he's gonna be on tour with nav personally i, I still don't understand the whole I, I don't know motivation to be on tour with nav other than maybe to get like the exo affiliations maybe he'll get a you know a feature with the weekend and and who else is exo is it just the weekend and nav and maybe some other people i can't remember but anyway so now he got put on this and it's a good look because now he gets associated with travis scott which I, I feel like a lot of people think that travis scott ruined him uh but but he just hasn't had like the major distribution yet as we've discussed so once he gets that then his numbers will start to go up xo tour life i guess uzi but but uzi's not signed to xo he's signed to atlantic and generation now uh and he already got the uzi feature which is crazy especially on like a independent album Although it's like really not too independent because he signed a, uh, Travis Scott. So we got all the connections in the world. You know what I'm saying? Did I hear about Tokyo joining Opium? Don't believe that. Are you kidding me? I, I don't know, man. The last thing this, that Blake Cardi needs right now is to get some some P's, you know, some P's, some Q's and P's on the label, especially when he might already have some on there when when you got too many you already got like one two three depending on like the squad the number of on in homicide game but but have another p who literally admitted to it in a discord server like that ain't happening bro i'm sorry that's not and travis did not ruin so fail y'all i think uh oh and by the way i just want to say so i heard i heard that we were right in our assumption that there was some tension between travis and sofago in that remember when uh, travis got unfollowed sofago so essentially the story goes it was all a misunderstanding sofago unfollowed everybody on his instagram account there, until except for like three people like his his boys like his producer maybe you know somebody he's inspired by like uzi or somebody i don't know who it was so, you know how artists go like down to zero followers or some stupid shit like that so anyway he did that and then travis scott saw that sofago stopped following him maybe like checking out his profile making sure that he's all good like like aesthetically and brand wise and then he got a little bit butt hurt seeing that sofago wasn't following him so then he unfollowed sofago too and then it turned out like that turned you know that turned into a whole ordeal publicity wise because i mean that is odd especially when travis scott was continuing to follow everybody else that he was following so uh yeah it, it's just funny how much drama unnecessary drama there is in the music industry because everybody got an ego and, and everybody everybody even myself even every, you know what i'm saying like everybody gets a little bit offended over some stupid oh he said this like what did like you know you interpret things in a way but it's it's still funny when is he releasing the deluxe i doubt he's dropping a deluxe i think he's i think he's dropping like a uh, <laughs> i don't know i i think he's dropping something soon no i'll just say that i think he's dropping something soon but wait on it i think what he's gonna do is give the fans what they want similar to like trippy red in that Remember when Trippy Red dropped Mansion Music? That was recent, right? So in between A Love Letter to You 5, the rollout, because no one was really hyped for A Love Letter to You 5 since it was all love music. Although the, the past two snippets that Trippy's drop, they're slower, but like, I actually like them a lot. I don't know. 
it, it's just a different type of love music it's not like corny you know emo rap it's almost like pop pop slow music which i feel like emo rap i don't know just to me it, it's corny at this point as i was saying though so i think so fago is gonna kind of take that concept of while we're waiting for like the bigger project he dropped something for the fans that he knows they like so if you recall we discussed in a couple streams ago in that so fago his top song right now that's going crazy i think it's back on rap caviar so is double faces but hell yeah is his most popular song why because it's a rage beat as much as you know we're through with that maybe the mainstream they still messing with the rage beats because they're you know they're a little bit late on that but hell yeah his is his most is his hottest song this is his most popular currently it has the highest trajectory of streams at the like the current week i think is how it runs like the data um so so yeah i think he might drop a couple songs that are similar to hell yeah or maybe like some old fago you know what i'm saying get the hype back because i think ultimately what so fago has right now is or, or needs right now uh rather is to get the hype back to get his momentum because yeet stole it all and like even destroy lonely has it now i feel like destroy lonely is the hottest thing so is yeet though because he's about to drop but he's in a whole different realm because uh i i hate on rage but promote it i don't know what that means i i like i like rage but i just didn't like how saturated it got everything in moderation is good people we, we talking food we talking sundays we talking intercourse we talking cigars we talking money everything moderation people i just don't like when it, it gets too much but what sofago did on pink hearts to his dismay even though i liked pink hearts because it was it, it's more mature music if you will uh it wasn't my favorite but it was it was okay he did not have enough of the music that the fans wanted see like with ken carson they they went on the two opposite sides of the spectrum ken carson with x went like everything was performance rage music and i was like bro this shit trash so fago went like too far into the older type people music maybe that's you know a good thing for later on i think that'll live way longer it'll have uh you know more life than ken carson's x just because the type of music it is five years from now i feel like you know slower music is still an r&b kind of pop stuff that people will still listen to that the rage like we don't know it might be obsolete in five years we might be listening to robots farting in a microphone there's already ai rappers but anyway uh yeah so so fago again just needs to make more of the music that the fans want and then on the next project he's gonna sign i've heard to a major distribution deal where then he'll get that major push I, I i'm saying that he needs to get above like i don't know 20k something like that if he gets above 34k then he'll be like at the level of uh yeet you know what i'm saying at least until he drops this upcoming project afterlife we'll see what he does number wise there i'm excited to see what happens but then he'll be back on track to where he he was supposed to be you know what i mean but we already got a new class so now sofago has gotta make sure he doesn't get passed up by those artists too excited to see where like hard rock goes i think hard rock is like the lead of the new the new freshman if you will any news on pink tape no i don't know what's going on pink tape he is supposed to drop what march we're already he's supposed to go on tour in march but maybe that was untrue because those were like unconfirmed tour dates and he could always push back his tour dates to work on the album uh he could also go on tour for eternal take and all the music that he released prior to uh just want to rock and perform just want to rock without a new project because uh he, he already he hasn't performed or he hasn't gone on tour since eternal take you know what i'm saying any news on afterlife that's dropping next week bruh I was hoping he's gonna drop a single, but he did not. As in this week, because he's dropping next week. Hate when bro pronounces Sofago as Sofago. Whatever that means, bruh.